we start with the Patriots. They lost the wide receiver. They lost Josh Gordon. He's on the injured reserve. But then they brought in uh, Muhammad Sanu from mm -hmm. the Falcons. So they're, they're back and ready to roll at the wide receiver position. Can the Patriots run the table and go undefeated on the season? Uh, undefeated might be tough. Um, though I think they have the talent to do it. Mm -hmm. I just don't know if they're going to have the mindset to want to do it and run the risk of injury later on in the season. Because they're going to clinch up this division, I think, pretty early. I think oh, Buffalo's yeah. going to start to come back to the pack a little bit. Even though they're hanging around right now, offensively, they're not good enough to maintain this pace they're playing at. Yeah. So I think the Patriots will clinch up the division pretty early, and then we'll see them kind of lock up the, the number one seed overall. And then it'll be a matter of let's make sure that Tom stays healthy. Let's make sure Edelman stays healthy. Let's make sure we don't suffer any big injuries on the defensive side of things. So okay. as far as undefeated, I don't think that happens. I mean, I'm actually a Patriot fan, in case y'all didn't know. I've been a Patriot <laughs> fan since um, 06. I'm not a bandwagon. This, is, this has been since 06. And I can honestly say that um, this is a match made in heaven for a Patriots fan. Simply because Muhammad Sanu is one of those guys that can, um, he's versatile. So mm -hmm. he, could, he could play the intermediate route. He could go the deep route. And he's, um, he's actually a good quarterback. You know, his first yeah. six passes that he actually threw was completions. And um, he threw, a, 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 I believe, a 50-yard pass down the field. I mean, the, the ball was dropped in the bed basket of all the garden. I mean, mm -hmm. this guy is nice. So, you know, I think the Patriots come playoff time, they can have a few bags in the tricks. They already had people seeing they say, um, saying they see ghosts. They can see more ghosts come playoff time because they got a guy that can, you know, make plays when he gets the ball in his hands. They did just uh, get rid of uh, Michael Bennett today. They traded him up to the Cowboys for a seventh-round uh, draft pick. Yeah, I mean, I don't think that was a, a big move for them. The, the defense, this is probably one of Bill's best jobs with the defense. Yeah. Um, just from a standpoint of how athletic they are, because we see all these in interchangeable parts, mm -hmm. and they're playing a lot more man coverage. They're relying on just, let's just get a bunch of pressure on the quarterback, as, as Leo referenced the Sam Darnold quote of seeing ghosts. Yeah. I mean... Van Noy almost had back-to-back -back weeks of, of a return touchdown. They were all over the place. I saw a crazy stat today, which I didn't even realize until I, I went back and looked at all the numbers. Mm -hmm. If the Patriots' offense had not scored one touchdown through their seven games, they would still be 3-3. Three and three. They would be 3-3-1. Three, three and one. They would have still won three games without scoring an offensive touchdown. That's how good their defense has been. And their defense, yeah. I believe, have 18 touchdowns on a year. Right. So um, their defense they, is really they're lights. Good. They're playing lights out right now. Um, they definitely been holding me down in uh, fantasy oh, football. Oh, absolutely, yeah. You <laughs> no. know, I think, if, like I said, Sanu works for them in a lot of ways because they needed to find another target. Tight end has always been a strength for them that's pretty weak this year, and especially with the injuries. Yeah. Even though they brought back Ben Watson, they haven't been able to really run the ball. Um, even though Sanu is not a deep threat, he's a possession receiver that can help you because we know Tom likes to just dink and dunk you down the field and just, listen, you're going to give me the little five-yard routes? I'll take those five-yard routes all the way down the field between him and Edelman. They'll figure it out. I think it's going to be really good for them. But this defense is the part that, to me, makes them the favorites to win it all. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I don't, as far as going undefeated, I'm, I'm not sure if they're going undefeated. Um, I think that the going into Baltimore is going to be a tough game now, the way the secondary – I mean, the secondary was already beastly. But now with the addition of, uh, of Marcus uh, Peters, I think that it's, it's going to be even tougher to go into Baltimore and get that win. But I do think – I mean – I still kind of think it's a lock for them to win the Super Bowl, man. I'm, I'm sorry, man, because you, you're going to have to go through Foxborough. Absolutely. At, at, yeah. at this point, there's no no doubt about it. If you're trying to get to the Super Bowl, you have to go through Foxborough. And I don't think any team right now in the AFC is ready to beat Tom Brady in Foxborough in the playoffs. And I, another thing I would say is um, after that, the, you know, that heartbreaking Super Bowl loss to the Giants when they were undefeated, I don't think they really – um, mind just, you know, getting home court advantage, that's the main thing. Winning two playoff games at home in Gillette Stadium and just going to the Super Bowl because, right. you know, you see guys, you know, yeah. they chase being great, like the Warriors when they were 72 win team. You know, they chase being great and at that time, you risk injury as well because yeah. guys play longer games and it's football, especially um, guys are prone to get hurt. So, you know, I think they, they main thing right now is to win as much games as they can, get home court advantage and just play two games at home and go to the Super Bowl. Yeah. If we, again, if we were talking 06 Patriots and Brady's 32, yeah, you go for the undefeated. But right now, you can't run the risk of him getting his ankle rolled up on or him taking a big hit right before the playoffs, and now you don't have your guy. And that goes for a lot of the guys on the team because they are a veteran-laden team. This isn't a very, you know, even though they got some young pieces, a lot of these guys have been in the league for several years, so you don't want to run the risk of an injury to a key guy that stops you now from going to the Super Bowl. They get home home field, 
it's going to be tough to beat them. We know Tom doesn't lose at home. Yeah. And then automatically you're in the second round of the playoffs. So one win or now puts <laughs> yeah, you in the AFC much. Championship. Pretty and much. to your point, Trip, I don't. not only do I not see anybody going into Foxborough and beating them, I don't even see a team that has the offensive capability of, of really putting up numbers on them. Yeah. Because yeah. for as much talk as we heard about Kansas City, we saw how they were dominated by the Colts, by the Texans, and how they had mm -hmm. to struggle to beat Detroit. Yep. Those are teams that played physical, but none of those teams have the defensive capabilities that the Patriots have. Yeah. Right? So, snowy Foxborough in January, mm -hmm. and you're expecting yeah, Tyree Kill to just be running around? I don't see it happening. Mm -hmm. The Colts got a good you running game. Watkins can't stay healthy. Right. Yeah. The Colts got a good running game, but the Colts don't have enough on the passing side of things to threaten them. Same yeah. thing with the Texans. Texans can throw the ball, but they can't run the ball. I don't see a team that has the game plan that can say, I can go into Foxborough in January when it's 10 below and it's snowing, yep. and then I'm going to score on this defense that's been so good. Yeah, and, and, and it hits uh, Belichick's brain. Right. Because that's really what, you, what you're going up against, uh, Belichick's brain. This is Deontay the Browns, Bummer Wilder, heavyweight champion of the world, and you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. Live from the can. Live from the can. Uh-huh. This is Real Fans, Real Talk. Real Fans, Real Talk, we as real as you thought. Real 